Every year from mid to late summer, they roll in photos and videos of giant worm like creatures dressed as parade floats, caterpillars destined to become moths and butterflies. Like this one that got Michelle Schenberger's attention. That's a beauty, Michelle, and it gets even prettier after it spins a silken cocoon and emerges as this an imperial moth. Katie Musselman found this one. Imperial moth caterpillars feed on a wide variety of tree leaves, but I've never known them to be accused of widespread destruction. Unlike this guy, photographed by Kevin Graybill. Kevin, that's a tobacco hornworm. Yes, he eats tobacco, but he's often found on tomatoes, which gets him in trouble with gardeners. The tobacco hornworm eventually becomes a moth called the Carolina Sphinx. But this one is doomed. Those egg-like white things are cocoons, each containing a tiny developing wasp. Adult braconid wasps are what we call parasitoids. That is a parasite that kills its host. The adult wasp lays her eggs under the caterpillar's skin. When the larvae hatch, they eat the living caterpillar from inside out, chewing through its skin, then spinning those little white cocoons on the outside. They eventually pop out of the cocoons as adult wasps. Being eaten to death, of course, is a real downer for the caterpillar. For you, though, it's a big plus since dead caterpillars can eat your tomatoes. Nonetheless, it's still pretty creepy. I'm Jack Hubley, News 8. Wow, a lot of info there. The woolly bear, the larva of the Isabella moth, is very active late this season. Watch for woolly bears crossing the road on warm, sunny days in October. If you have a wildlife question for Jack, just email it to news8 at wgal.com, and you may see the answer on the air.